don't put heavy products on your face that will clog your pores, especially now that we need to cover our face with a mask. So if you're going to wear a mask, wear a clean mask on a clean face. Hopefully with this story, you can leave it out of your mind. Aloha and mabuhay everyone, this is again your Kuya, Kuya Joe, and welcome to another video. Ayan, opo, pasensya na if nawala na po si Watashi, o medyo dugay dugay jod. I tried to vlog several times, pero wad yun na kaya kay sunod-sunod ang projects and medyo nagkag demands sa kong internship. Pero I learned a lot these past few months that I can share with you all in some ways, hopefully. This video is about this. Yes, dahil kasi pangota na what happened to your face, well, anong gano'n siya o? Dati mang go, dahil kasi ingon nga, hamis na kaya kong now, unsa na akong sekreto, unya, gikapoy na magpaminaw sa moto, nagpabugas ko, hindi mo malain. Char lang. Delibita o, um, that's what I'm going to share with you today, how my face turned from no acne to full of acne, how did it start, what did I do with it, what were the products I used that worked and didn't work, and how my almost four months of acne cleared out in just three days. No magic, no bullshit. This is not a clickbait, so if you want to know all about it, just keep on watching. Let's start with how my face turned from no acne to full of acne. Usually when I get a pimple, days lang, wala na. But I had some pimples on my forehead that was there for several weeks and I thought maybe I need to do something. So I bought an acne cleanser. Almost immediately after using that cleanser, my face went rough. I had acne pop on my cheeks and on my jawline. So I stopped using that cleanser but the acne didn't stop. Nagparty-party sila bongga kaysa kong naong. I think I know why that happened, but before I tell you about it, disclaimer lang. This is my theory and this is not backed by my dermatologist. I think the reason why it happened was because hilig mong good kayo kung butang o moisturizer sa kong naong. Maski un sa aslong as healthy tanaw na kong panit. And usually pag mag moisturizer ko, ganahan dyan kayo sa kong panit. And since uneven akong skin tone, sometimes kagamit dyan ko o tinted moisturizer or sometimes liquid foundation. So there were days nga daghag products akong face and then I wear mask because we all need to wear mask when we go out and around people. However, I noticed that when I have mask on and talk, the area under the mask gets moist and since I have products on my face and the skin is covered, I ended up having clog pores. That's why when I use that acne cleanser, those gunks that were forming underneath the skin on my cheeks and on my jawline popped out. Maunang lubak jud kay sa katanan akong aping atong time. That was around four months ago. I think what happened to my face is what a lot of people call nowadays mask me. I went back to my usual cleansing, which is using bar soap, but I noticed the pimples were not going away. I was not worried because I know eventually it will go away. However, when the old acne dried out and then there's more popping, I thought I really needed to do something. My husband kept pushing me to go see a dermatologist, but my stubborn self did not. Partly because I was busy and partly because I thought my pimples will just go away if I treat it at home. Pero wala akong bugas, giganan sila sa akong naong, so wala sila ng hawa. Oh, diba? Sana all, wala naging bayaan. But I used cleansers and toners and acne treatments na over-the-counter and so far I have seen improvements. There were times nga sinwala jay pimples sa akong naong, puro speklat lang nabilin. But then after a day, mabalik na po, nana po yung manurok, so mautuan ako nga. Humanun lang na ako ang fall semester and then I'll see a dermatologist. Diyos ko, paspas kita gabiyaan sa adlaw. Paspas na na to ni before pa mong ngit-ngit. I've used salicylic acid, adapalene gel, witch hazel, benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide cleanser worked for me. It cleared out a good number of pimples off of my face. But what I don't like about it is that it bleached my skin. And lang kita naawon if puti akong naong, tas pag sa liog, brown na. Dili na ko siya bit, so I stopped using it. Salicylic acid and witch hazel toner worked, but I feel like over time, more magsawa na kong skin. Or kanang masani na bit akong skin, unya more gula na siya effect. Ingana kong skin few weeks ago, medyo moody, bil para sa unang 
makiunsa na ako ibutang sa kong naong okay na kayo. I talked to my doctor. I told her the situation of my skin and how long it's been going on. She and a dermatologist looked at the situation of my face and my doctor gave me a prescription which is Duwak. It is a combination of clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide. She told me to use it for a month and then if it doesn't work, I should tell her so that we can do something else. I started using it last week and I am surprised. And this is the reason why I want to share this with you. I noticed on the third day of using it, I don't have any active acne on my face. My face was completely clear in just three days of using Duwak. Of course, I still have scars, but no active pimples at all. Zero. One week later, I don't know. Well, I didn't know that there was a new acne. It is very effective. However, it is also very drying, so you can only moisturize your skin. Also, Duwak is only available through prescription, so if you have acne problem and you're not allergic to clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide, talk to your doctor about it. I will update you all kung unsa may mga tabuan niya kung naong and hopefully with this story, maiwasan ninyo nga may ganin yung naong. So if you're going to wear a mask, wear a clean mask on a clean face. Don't put heavy products on your face that will clog your pores, especially now that we need to cover our face with a mask. Don't do the opposite. Don't put heavy products on your face and then leave the mask off. Don't be a dummy, okay? I should have followed what my husband told me when my face started to break out, which is to talk to my doctor immediately. I hope you don't do the same mistake that I did. Wala nta kaya pagla tahong naong karon kung yata ni kong doctor. If you notice something or worried about something that's going on with your body, talk to your doctor about it. I know in the Philippines, dilita sa nai ng mudagan din sa doctor. Pag natay batiyon, aguan taon lang sa nato. Mainly because mahal doktas sa gasto, and I understand that kay ingan mo pugo. Pero always keep in mind nga possible jud ka yung mas dakop ang gasto if hulato nato ng akan ng lalak na. I need to chase the light. Mo na yung problema basta magfilm ka outdoors. Guk don jud mo ang adlaw kung asa pa dulong kay dili mo siya control. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you make it this far, please don't forget to mash that like button and click subscribe na den and the notification bell para man notify ka every time I upload a new video. This is again your Kuya Joe. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Naji manorok ko sa hay pagka nang dugon ko kada bulan. Naji manorok. Pero ako ara pong ginairok.